I told you guys that anytime I find something new, pick up on a new hygiene tea or a tip or a trick or whatever, I will put them together, sit down here and spill the tea. Because we talk a lot about glowing from the inside, talking about our character, our mindset, all that good stuff. We need to also be glowing from the outside, our skin, our breath. I also need to tell you how I clean myself from outside. Things that make me smell good, taste good, feel good, look good, okay? Now, <laughs> that was so extra. <laughs> guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hey girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel as you see by the title today's video is hygiene tips i wish i knew sooner part two or part three because i know that i've done either one or two parts already on this channel but i will check and leave those in the description box below i highly recommend that you check them out because it will just kind of piece everything together by the way before we get into the thing some of the things might not be new to you but they might be new to somebody else and i know some of these things or most of these things that i'm talking about i knew them late i started them late let's go to hygiene tip number one i wish i knew sooner double cleansing now this i already knew from a long time i've always like naturally just double cleansed my skin i don't know why i did it before i didn't know the usefulness or essence of it before when i got older i realized how essential it is with my shower routine and i've seen people do double cleansing in different ways i'm going to tell you how i do mine but i think the generic way of double cleansing is cleaning your body first with a bar soap and then going in with a shower gel i don't necessarily do that all the time but i love having a bath soap in my bathroom i double cleans with my shower gel most of the time i'm going to be honest with you guys so i clean my body twice so i clean with actually two different shower gels because i never have one single shower gel in my in my routine like it doesn't make any sense to me i can't just go into the bathroom take a shower with just one shower gel and call it a day wait can you guys hear that I'm so sorry if you guys hear that i'm so sorry my window is open actually i should close that give me one second i do both methods of double cleansing i use a bar soap sometimes and then follow up with a shower gel but most of the time i use two different shower gels and i have different shower gels for certain skin needs i have the one that actually exfoliates my skin and i have the one that kind of soothes my skin moisturizes my skin and all that good stuff you can do however you want to if you have body odor you have problem with sweat because i know a lot of people do have that problem with sweat you need to be double cleansing normally i don't have that issue with like either body odor or like some type of funky smell or even sweating issues i barely even sweat but i double cleanse generally i just advise that you double cleanse because it's good for your skin it's good for you know your smell it's just like the nice base before you start doing all the extra steps with lotion oils and all that stuff one of the major secrets to a clear healthy and clean skin is double cleansing i don't know if you've ever heard this before but you're hearing it today however you want to mix your double cleansing that's completely up to you it depends on what your skin needs me i exfoliate and hydrate and clean whatever your skin needs is what you're going to feed it okay thing number two or tip number two is men's deodorant i don't know if you guys have ever heard this before but there's just something about men's deodorant the women's deodorants are good they're nice but i think they are just too mild you see the ones that say they last like 48 to 72 hours but not necessarily honestly they last don't get me wrong because i have a lot of them and i use a lot of them but i typically would stare towards a men's deodorant i think the day that i unlock it was when i had no choice that to use a man's deodorant and i love how i felt like i was so dry in there granted normally i actually do not sweat as much if you see me sweat just know that it is really hot wherever we are but i really love how dry and fluffy and soft my underarms wear especially during the summertime or you live in a country that is you know hotter than usual somewhere like nigeria <laughs> that really we don't have seasons like that a man's deodorant will hold you tight and again if you have sweat problems while they have a lot of treatment for sweat problems you should probably seek a professional for that actually there's no probably in that statement you should seek a professional because they would help you better with those things but before then or if you don't have access to it try a man's deodorant try a man's deodorant and thank me there's just something in there they are deodorant hit different most of them actually smell a bit strong or manly or man-like which you could actually find milder ones i love the ones from dove Oof. and Nivea. oh my god there's one particular one the silver one i'm going to leave it on the screen these are my go-to the ones you see on the screen the ones i always get they actually smell feminine and they do the job better than a woman's deodorant would so if you've never tried them sis try it just try it one time 
try it one time and come back to this video and let me know what you think okay third hygiene tip i wish i knew sooner arm hair removal now this one might not be new to you guys because obviously when people take out the hairs on their legs they also do their arms sis i didn't know that okay i do have watched a lot of shower routines on youtube where people are taking out the hairs on their arm i just used to think they do too much okay i never really looked up benefit of it or why it's even doing the first place or how it makes them feel i just thought you know it was just part of the thing to make it look good like made the video flow well you know hairless clear all that good stuff that's all i thought honestly so i just never saw the essence of removing the hair around my arm until one day i was feeling like i let it be in the shower for too long i was taking out the hairs on my leg and i did for my arms and baby i have not gone back since then now there are so many benefits of doing that because i know i had a lot of spots in my arms now clearing out the hair on my arm giving me that you know smooth surface to work with my lotions my oils could penetrate into my skin better that's something i noticed and normally i have dry skin my face my body all around although right now i think with my new hygiene routine in general shower routine i have kind of conquered the dry skin problem i noticed my arms where i had the spots and marks especially mosquito bites from nigeria when i was in boarding school i had a lot of those on my body removing the hairs from my arm gave my skin a brighter clearer smoother softer look okay and the most important thing for me is my lotions and oils could penetrate my skin more this is how it has worked for me and i have not gone back since then i just feel so soft so smooth like a baby and when somebody's actually rubbing through my arms i know what they say okay they tell me how soft my skin is people always say that <laughs> when you move the hair on your arm and then you put your oil and your lotion sis you see how your skin will start glowing oh thing number four is what you should know if you don't know i'm going to remind you it's going to be a really quick tip and that's professional teeth cleaning at least every four to five months okay if you're not doing this honestly you should book an appointment now because definitely you have plagues in your teeth that need to go out okay professional teeth cleaning helps with those dirt and gunk and food particles that are stuck in your teeth that your floss or your toothpaste toothbrush mouthwash cannot take out there are so many of those that are actually form in our gums like at the top part of our gums or our teeth i have seen situations where it has a build up if you're watching me right now if you open up your gums you could see there is this like shadow on your teeth like at the crown of your teeth if that makes sense it could be discolored in a different milky shade that is not your teeth no matter how hard it is that's not part of your teeth that's just formed plagues around your crown or around your teeth that is hard to remove but when you get it professionally cleaned they kind of like scrape all of that off tip number five sun protect your body your face your lips now this one you have heard a million times i don't think there's any skincare person or any makeup person or any hygiene person point blank on this channel or on any other platform that will not tell you the benefits of sun protection you know this i don't need to say it, but for the essence of you know having a reminder a fresh reminder we're going to talk about it okay sun protect not just your body and your face because i think a lot of people focus on their body and their face and that's me that used to be me like i'll focus on my body and my face and to be honest with you i didn't even start protecting my body on time like religiously frequently like that until later 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 in my adult years and you know it damaged my skin so so much especially during the summer time but i got consistent with my face and my body that was good but then i was leaving out my lips which is something that a lot of us leave out we scrub our lips and we brush our teeth i think that's quite common a lot of us do that but we don't think to sun protect our lips now i got burned on my lips 2018 and that taught me a huge lesson okay when you're protecting your face and your body please protect your lips there are a lot of lip products or lip balms or lip creams with spf there are a lot of them i don't like because they have a low percentage of spf in them like all the regular ones you get from the drugstore they usually have like 15 percent 10 percent 20 percent maximum but bondi sands they have lip products lip whatever with 50 percent spf and i swear by those things okay see those little things my favorite one is the vanilla one and i also have the strawberry one i bought the strawberry one a few days ago i would definitely 100 percent recommend bondi sand for any sun protect product they have been getting me right lately i've been stuck on the Garnier sun protect for a long time for about three years but when i tried bondi sand hey that's just the end of it so i use all their sun protect products especially for my lips 
i'm going to have it on the screen you guys will see it i highly highly recommend make sure that you're using sunscreen every single day of your life i don't care if it's cold outside make sure that you're protecting your skin because most of us are actually using products that make our skin sensitive to sun no matter how small or little the sun might be hitting your skin because you're using all these products your skin becomes more sensitive or hypersensitive to the sun make sure you're using sun protect for your skin for your body for your face for your lips okay do not forget that sixth tip now i briefly mentioned this when i was talking about double cleansing like the first point which i said exfoliating shower gels i know a lot of people don't really know about exfoliating shower gels listen sis you need an exfoliating shower gel okay i've always exfoliated my skin obviously with like scrub like body scrub or using the gloves which i'll talk about in the next point uh using like things that exfoliate my body like dry brushing and all that so i always exfoliate my skin that one is a non-negotiable in my skincare routine or body care routine but exfoliating shower gels will make that process a lot smoother because those ones you can use on a daily because they are not as harsh or as intense as the scrub or the brushing they are usually milder but then you get to exfoliate your body every single day sis if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation on even skin tone which i am dealing with and my skin has gotten a lot better because i've been using a ton of new products that i don't want to talk about yet and i've been using some products mixing some things but one thing that has helped me so much in getting my skin to be even which is a goal of mine is exfoliating my skin okay it made my skin so soft and you know having to remove all the hairs on your body from your legs to your hands and all that makes your body even look smoother softer clearer that's why i talk about double cleansing so you could have a regular hydrating moisturizing shower gel or soap alongside an exfoliating shower gel or soap they have bar soaps that are exfoliating as well i'm gonna leave all of it in the screen okay now my seventh tip is going to be really quick because i've spoken about this before but i wanted to just include it here for those of you that don't know or you need a reminder i know we just talked about exfoliating shower gels and exfoliating soap which i also recommend but then exfoliating gloves if you're still not using or you have not tried exfoliating gloves sis what are you doing what are you doing i will never give up exfoliating gloves in my routine but honestly i don't use them every day now because i use exfoliating shower gels so i don't use an exfoliating shower glove every day i use them at least once every week and typically it's on sundays because i do a lot of reset on sundays so i just love to use the exfoliating glove because i feel like i'm scrubbing my body and it helps so much when you're actually scrubbing your body with scrub not exfoliating gel the days i actually use a body scrub on my skin which is usually on sundays with the glove i don't use my exfoliating shower gels i use two hydrating and moisturizing shower gels or soap the reason being is because i would be double exfoliating or triple exfoliating because i'm going to be using the glove i was using the body scrub and the exfoliating gel that's too much in my opinion the exfoliating glove is for daily use but i always double cleanse anyway however i want to do it whichever way i want to do it i'm sure getting the gunk out of my skin i'm refreshing my skin i am exfoliating my skin i'm clearing up my skin i'm smoothing out my skin eighth tip you need unscented lotion in your body care routine we love a good rose body lotion body butter we love a nice vanilla creamy scent but your skin needs a break sis. i mainly use unscented lotions at night and also during the winter time because those unscented lotions usually come with high moisture for my skin and i really love them during the colder season like it eats deep into my skin and i really love those i'm gonna leave my favorite ones on the screen i usually get mine from the pharmacy but your skin needs a break from all those add-ons because most of our lotions have you know oils and perfume but you need an unscented lotion especially at night just to kind of let your skin have a break could refresh i definitely recommend having at least one bottle of unscented lotion in your skin body care routine definitely helps in giving your skin a break and helps to repair your skin rejuvenate your skin rehydrate your skin gives your skin a little bit of break before you jump right into packing up those oils those scented oils that make you smell so delicious ninth tip i wish i knew sooner this one oh i really really want to feel so bad but i'm sure you guys have heard of it before which is body conditioning okay this one i learned a little too late sis the first time i heard of a body conditioner i think it was on instagram i'm like you know what i have dry skin i should try this and i tried this and i'm stuck i love body conditioning as a base 
to moisturize your skin before you you know step out of the shower and put your lotions your oils your butter all that stuff when you use a conditioner honestly you even use less lotion you save money on your lotion because your skin will already feel soft moisturized buttery smooth with a body conditioner now there's something i started doing recently that changed the game because yes you can get body conditioners nive dove the regular brands they all have body conditioners just look for the one that is good for you but i'm going to as usual leave my recommendations on the screen but one thing i started doing recently that really changed the game was using my unscented lotion yeah you know the unscented lotion we talked about in the last point i use that as a body conditioner so basically when you're done with like washing out and cleansing out your skin while your skin is still wet you go ahead and rub it you rub it and you rinse out your body your skin will love you especially when you have dry skin i have dry skin so all these things are necessary for me like i always have to look for things that would help my skin stay moisturized hydrated 24 hours before now lucy of four years ago lucy of five years ago if you do my skin like this you see a long white mark <laughs> because of how dry like layers of my skin are but now you can never catch me on fresh last hygiene tip i wish i knew sooner is period tracker now the thing is i've always tracked my period with a period tracker i have been using clue for years like my clue app has my period from 2017 and i am not even joking like i've always tracked my mood body changes you know spicy stuff listen everything if you miss your period to today you can go back to your app and do some calculations because you have everything there sometimes it's not 100 accurate my app can tell me my period is coming tomorrow but it'll come like today or it'll come like two days late it's not necessarily spot on but you know at least like around what time your period is coming so you can make preparations for it i definitely recommend a period tracker like i said i've been using clue i know they have flow i know they have something else but honestly i am good with my good old clue i know clue has been around for years okay and i think by now it's considered old actually when you're doing your your monthly checkup or your bi-monthly checkup however you do your checkup it's always good to have these details so when they're asking you questions you can answer now that's pretty much everything that i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section below I definitely would appreciate it thank you guys so much for the support and love of this channel i absolutely appreciate every one of you i love you guys so 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 much and i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in